Ever pondered why Sigma males seem to distance themselves from women? Do they disdain companionship? Or is there a deeper reason? I'll reveal the surprising truth behind why Sigma males keep their distance from women, and you might just discover you're one of them. In the realm of social dynamics, we often hear about Alpha, Beta, and Omega males. However, there's another category that's less discussed, but equally intriguing. The Sigma male. While Alphas are the leaders, Betas the followers, and Omegas the loners, Sigma males are the wanderers, the ones who chart their own course, unbound by societal norms and expectations. Sigma males are the introverts of the male hierarchy, the lone wolves who thrive in their independence. They are self-sufficient, self-reliant, and often prefer their own company to that of others. They are the men who, despite their quiet demeanor, possess a magnetic charm that draws others towards them. But their allure is not what defines them. It's their self-contained nature, their independence, and their unique worldview that sets them apart. A Sigma male doesn't need validation from his peers to feel accomplished. He doesn't seek attention, nor does he crave social status. He's content with his own achievements, and he measures his success by his own standards, not by society's. These men are often seen as enigmatic, as they don't adhere to the traditional social hierarchy. They're on their own path, and they're content to keep it that way. They're not antisocial, they're selectively social, choosing to interact with people on their own terms. This selective sociability often leads to misunderstandings, with some perceiving them as aloof or detached. Sigma males, unlike their alpha or beta counterparts, prefer solitude and independence, which often leads to their detachment from women. However, it's crucial to note that this detachment isn't born out of disdain for companionship, but rather a preference for solitude and a desire to live life on their own terms. They value their freedom and autonomy above all else, and they're not afraid to walk alone if it means staying true to themselves. So, is being a Sigma male a curse or a blessing? Well, that's a matter of perspective. But one thing is certain, Sigma males with their independent nature and unique approach to life are a fascinating study in human behavior. So, what is it about Sigma males that makes them prefer solitude over companionship? Is it a choice or a consequence of their personality traits? The answer lies in the unique characteristics that define Sigma males. Unlike their Alpha and Beta counterparts, who are often drawn to the limelight, Sigma males are more comfortable in their own company. They are the lone wolves of the social hierarchy preferring the calm and quiet of their own space over the bustle of social gatherings. A key factor that contributes to Sigma males' detachment from women and society in general is their deep-seated need for personal space. They thrive in solitude, where they can explore their thoughts, engage with their ideas, and delve into their interests without interruption. This is not to say that Sigma males are antisocial or introverted. Rather, they are selective about the company they keep and the conversations they partake in. Sigma males also have a fondness for solitude that stems from their love for independence. They are self-sufficient, self-reliant, and not afraid to walk their own path, even if it means going against the grain. This individualistic nature can often be misunderstood as aloofness or disinterest, especially in romantic relationships. But in reality, it's a testament to their strength of character and their ability to stand their ground. Lastly, Sigma males have a distinct dislike for superficial social norms. They don't feel the need to conform to societal expectations or play by the rules of the dating game. Instead, they value authenticity and depth in their relationships, which can sometimes result in a perceived detachment from women. In conclusion, it's important to understand that the detachment of Sigma males from women is not a sign of dislike or disdain. Instead, it's a reflection of their unique personality traits, their need for personal space, their fondness for solitude, and their dislike for superficial social norms. These traits can sometimes come across as detachment, but in reality, they are what makes Sigma males the intriguing individuals they are. The detachment of Sigma males from women is not a sign of dislike or disdain, but rather a reflection of their unique personality traits. Detachment often carries a negative connotation, but is it necessarily always a bad thing? Could there be potential benefits to this approach? When we think of a Sigma male's detachment, we often picture a lone wolf, 
a solitary figure who prefers his own company to that of others. But this paints a picture that's a bit too stark. It's not about shunning society, but more about finding comfort in solitude. And this can have its own set of unique advantages. Let's take a step back and think about what detachment really means for a Sigma male. It's not about distancing oneself from the world out of fear or resentment. It's about choosing to focus on personal growth and independence. This ability to detach allows Sigma males to build a strong sense of self-reliance. They don't depend on the approval or validation of others. Instead, they find satisfaction in their own achievements and personal growth. This can lead to a strong sense of self-confidence and self-worth that is not easily shaken by external factors. Moreover, this detachment can provide a certain level of clarity. Without the constant noise of societal expectations or pressures, Sigma males can better understand their own needs, desires and ambitions. This clarity can lead to more fulfilling life choices, whether that's in careers, hobbies or relationships. But what about loneliness? Isn't a life of detachment a lonely one? Not necessarily. Being alone doesn't equate to feeling lonely. Sigma males often find contentment in their own company. They value the time they spend alone as it gives them space to reflect, recharge and focus on their own interests. In fact, this ability to be alone can lead to more meaningful relationships. Because Sigma males are comfortable with themselves, they can enter relationships not out of need or desperation, but out of a genuine desire to connect with another person. And isn't that the foundation of a truly fulfilling relationship? For Sigma males, detachment isn't a negative trait, but rather a tool for self-growth and actualization. Can a Sigma male maintain a healthy relationship despite their detachment? What does a relationship with a Sigma male look like? Let's delve into the dynamics of a relationship with a Sigma male and explore how these relationships can be fulfilling despite their inherent detachment. Sigma males are often viewed as lone wolves, preferring solitude over social interaction. This characteristic might make it seem like a relationship with a Sigma male would be challenging, but that's not the whole picture. Sigma males, despite their independent nature, are capable of deep emotional connections. They value authenticity and meaningful interactions. In a relationship, they are loyal partners who value their significant other's individuality and do not impose their will or beliefs on them. A key aspect to understand here is their need for personal space and independence. For a Sigma male, having time alone isn't a luxury, but a necessity. They need this space to recharge, to reflect, and to maintain their sense of self. This doesn't mean they're uninterested or detached from their partner, but rather, they require a balance between togetherness and solitude. A partner of a Sigma male needs to respect this need for personal space and independence. It's crucial not to misinterpret their desire for solitude as disinterest or lack of affection. Instead, understanding and respecting this need can create a harmonious and fulfilling relationship. Sigma males are not the type to lose themselves in a relationship. They maintain their individuality, and this can be incredibly appealing. Their partners can rest assured knowing that a Sigma male won't be clingy or overly dependent. They're self-sufficient, reliable, and they value these traits in their partners as well. In a world where we're often told that constant communication and spending every waking moment together is the key to a successful relationship, a relationship with a Sigma male offers a refreshing alternative. It allows both individuals to maintain their separate identities while also offering a deep, meaningful connection. Sigma males can indeed maintain healthy relationships. It just requires understanding and respect for their unique personality traits. We've delved deep into the world of Sigma males and their detachment from women. So, what's the takeaway from all this? Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've been on We've delved into the enigmatic world of Sigma males, a unique breed of men who march to their own beat. They are the lone wolves, the introverted adventurers who often opt for solitude over social interaction. Sigma males are characterized by their independence, self-sufficiency, and a certain degree of detachment from societal norms, including traditional relationships. We've explored how this detachment is not a sign of a deficiency or an inability to connect, but rather a conscious choice. Sigma males are not detached because they can't form connections, but because they value their independence and freedom above all else. 
they choose to engage in relationships on their own terms. And this often means taking a step back from the conventional dating scene. But this detachment does not make Sigma males any less capable of maintaining healthy relationships. In fact, it can be an asset. Their self-reliance and independence mean they are not looking for someone to complete them, but rather someone to complement them. This leads to relationships that are based on mutual respect and understanding, rather than dependency. We've also looked at how this detachment can have its positives. It allows Sigma males to focus on their personal growth and development, to pursue their passions without distraction, and to live life on their own terms. They are not bound by societal expectations or pressures, and this gives them a sense of freedom and control over their own lives. In conclusion, Sigma males are not detached because they are incapable of forming connections, but because they choose to live life on their own terms. Their detachment is a reflection of their independence and self-sufficiency, not a flaw or a deficiency. It's a testament to their strength and their ability to walk their own path, even if it means walking alone. Sigma males are just another hue in the spectrum of masculinity. Their detachment isn't a flaw, but a reflection of their self-sufficiency and independence.